our text, Romans 7, 23. Warring against the law of my mind. Our heading, the war in my mind. When we read the Ten Commandments, our conscience approves the ordinances of God while it reproves our own culpable shortcomings. Yes, we feel that only God could have drawn up so complete, so perfect a code. We know, apart from the precious blood of Christ, it would have cast us into hell, and most justly so. Yet, with holy instinct, pure taste, and righteous judgment, we consent unto the law that it is good. First, nor would the Christian man wish to have the spirituality of the law in any degree compromised. He is not only pleased with the law as he reads it, but he is pleased with the very spirit of the law. What if the law condemns in him an unchaste look as well as an unchaste action? He condemns that unchaste look in himself. What if the law reaches to the heart and says, You should not even desire your neighbor's good, much less should you steal it. He feels in his soul that it is sin, and that it is a bitter thing in him even to covet where he does not defraud. Says second, Though the thunderings, the lightnings, and the voices which usher in that law do terrify him, yet the wisdom, the equity, and the benevolence which ordained it resolves an awe unto admiration. Being born from above, in fellowship with Christ, at peace with God, his very constitution is in union with the law of the Lord. Is the law spiritual? So is he. The pact is unbroken, the concord perfect. I trust full many of you, my hearers, can endorse this, for doubtless as many of us as have been born again can bear witness that we delight in the law of God after the inner man. Application No Christian desires to have any dispensation or frame of mind to exempt him from complying with any of the Lord's commandments. Yeah, the old nature may desire it, but the inner man says no. I do not wish to get or to give any concession to the flesh, to have an allowance or make an excuse for sin in any point whatsoever. The flesh craves for liberty and asks to have provision made for it. But does any believer here want liberty to sin? And I pray. O oh, Holy Spirit, I pray in our battle against the lust of the flesh and the lust of the world and the pride of life. Help us, assist us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.